Hello and welcome back to New Super Lucky's Tale with me, Matthew Caddis, a.k.a. Puggy. So today we will take on one of Annalid's um, challenges. And you remember in the last episode I mentioned that, um, well, what we have to do with this is actually, well, basically acts like, um... Um, it behaves, sorry, I've got my train of thought going. Um, but the whole idea of these stages, uh, puzzle stages, yes, just like with Tessie's stages, the difference is they are a lot more grandiose in scale in terms of getting through them. The basic goal is the same, to get all of the coins. However, there are a lot more obstacles in Annalid's puzzles. She... Seemingly by comparison, it is a lot smarter than Tessie's. Seriously, uh, because of that. Uh, seriously. And it also has the dubious annoyance of having it even more zoomed out than Tessie's puzzles were. Seriously. Uh, keep in mind that there is that moving thing up and down. Um, but in some other stages, we, which I think we'll see, We'll also have open-ended areas. Again, that was in one of um, uh, Tessie's stages, but yeah. You can see there, there is a giant coin off to the upper left there, which I cannot for the life of me get. Yes, and that isn't um, uh, part of the stage that tilts as well, so... Not great, not great. So I want to probably get all of the coins I can before I uh, get through there. Some of which you can barely see due to the camera angle. Seriously, the camera angle is your worst enemy here. Um, so yeah, by the way, to borrow from Sonic, that is a bounce pad. Seriously, and it is very annoying to get off of. Seriously, and yes, there are spices, plenty of them even. Seriously, I don't, I still don't see what that thing does. But well, never mind. Like with, um, dare I say, with with Tess, the um, uh, Anna lead appears towards in, uh, in the background, should I say? Completely not out of nowhere, but yeah. I'm still trying to get that um, one on the upper right. I don't know if I saw it there, uh, but yeah. And I cannot get that. Seriously, cannot tilt it downwards. Again, that's a problem with the camera angle. Seriously, you don't always know where Lucky is. Even though he is glowing in the dark here. Seriously. Um, Lucky is actually glowing in the dark here. But, yeah. Another um, thing we'll do is, again, face Sweeper Junior once again. So... <laughs> A couple of things related to Tess in this episode, I dare say, but... Yeah, is there actually... Yeah, there is. There totally is a thing. What the hell, I fell off. Yeah, and if you die, you have to do the whole thing again. Yeah, I died a lot of times. I'm down to seven lives, and I don't think I'm as lucky as lucky, so... Yeah. Yeah, and finally, we get all of the things. Now it's just a matter of getting to the end of the stage. Which is down, well, on the lower left-hand corner there. You would think you would have to pivot Lucky towards the uh, exit there, but you'd be wrong. You actually have to bounce him up there from the top left corner into there. And it's not easy to do either, seriously. The amount of times I got pushed back there is insane. But uh, there we go. Enough to give me a headache. And there are a fair few more of these um, puzzles to do with um, Annalid. To the point where I, I just decided to go for another boss fight. I'd just rather do another boss fight with, um, with the, well, he doesn't fight you, of course, but um, with the, the penultimate warrior than I have to face any of Annalid's challenges. So, so crappy I am at doing uh, puzzles anyway. Which is weird because I, um, I'll get to that. I'm not going to mention it now. But anyway, this one, Sweet Petunia, again. Yes, we're going against her again. Um, so yeah. So what's different about this one? Well, let's see. Um, 
Well, Tess now looks robotic and metal and everything, and now we're doing it on the bus of conveyor belts as well. Which, of course, we saw from uh, chip stages um, were a pain in the ass, and they are here as well because they keep pushing you back. So, like before, we have to flip the switches to uh, pretty much destroy um, um, uh, Sweet Petunia. Unlike before, um, the lasers are crisscrossing, as well as the aforementioned uh, um, uh, conveyor belts, of course. So, yeah. Once again, let me show yada yada yada. And then will we die? Yes, we will, because um, apparently camera control is not a thing in cutscenes. You think you, it would, uh, the game would actually reset your position after a cutscene plays, but no! It does not. Seriously. I also like how at the beginning, Loki was on the conveyor belt and come on! Seriously. While he was being pushed to his death. Seriously, that is probably one of the most hilarious and also scariest things in this game. Seriously. Um, but, uh, never mind. Let's jump over here and whip our tail back and forth. Whip our tail back and forth. And uh, hit those switches, of course. And am I gonna die? I don't know. Look, he's in minute. You can actually see him there. He's standing off the switch. Thankfully, I was able to jump out of the way this time, but yeah. Okay, so we do get the enemy rush as well to get our health back. Which is awfully nice. Um, and why before we can destroy the bees by just sending back their missiles, of course. So yeah, nothing too bad, actually. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, then, once again, more lasers and everything. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about the pincer attack, which apparently sends out fire. Yes, that is a thing here. Now the lasers are pissing me off. Seriously. Can I not do that, please? The good thing the hitboxes with these switches are fairly good. Otherwise, I think I will be really um, getting angry here. Seriously, and you will not like me when I'm angry, seriously. You saw that with my... well, it's gone now, but never mind. Um, so... Uh, yeah. In the trick is with these lasers is to either do a double jump over them, and if you can't do that, just jump between them if you can, when they're not moving, of course. It's very easy to get hit if you're between them. What the hell, Lucky? Seriously? Even the end up dying here, seriously. If you don't get yet, get the hell out of there. Okay, so more bees. Yep. No, oh, I want my health back. I totally want my health back. Thank you. And what else? Well, um, how about we getting triple lasers now? Oh, before using this pincer move. I think it moves quicker each time, which all the bosses do, of course. But the shortwave thing has been done to death. Black holes, seriously. Now it's in playing and it's spiraling out of control. Apparently she's learned something from Ansem in Kingdom Hearts. So it doesn't it looks a bit less 80s than uh, how Ansem did it, seriously. That that being the effect of probably a, in Kingdom Hearts at least. Being a game that was released in the early 2000s. <laughs> and everything. Seriously. 2002. Wait, it's so impressive, but yeah. Oh god. Can I ask it again? Okay, so there we go, and then uh um electric shock and it pretty much dies. Yay. They almost died there. Well, I don't know, because I had three hearts, so maybe not. But we got that one for beating Sweet Bitch Junior. So, I think I'll do another of Annalie's um, things in the next episode, but until then, I'll see you later. Goodbye!